Hey YouTube, what's good? It's Jerome Fit with a new video coming for you for the week. Sorry I'm a little late, but I got it out to you. Uh, today's video topic is going to be about total body training. As you saw, I probably saw as a, the video before you clicked on it. Uh, the question I get asked so frequently uh, about total body training, uh, basically how do you get more, do I get enough volume in total body training versus split style training? So I'm going to go ahead and break that down for you today. So go ahead and break out your pencils, your pens, your calculators or whatever, which you ever need to do to calculate, do these formulas and whatnot. Because I'm about to give you all some straight game and talk about uh, total body training. And like I said, answer this question for you. Now, just a few parameters to talk about. Um, we'll use a hypothetical individual. This hy this person, hypothetical person has a chest deficiency. So this workout, not I'm not gonna break out, you know, rep sets, time change, stuff like that. But his general, his or her general focus would be to improve their chest development. So as you know, you know, when you have a particular body part, or if you don't know, now you will, you're will. you about to know, if you're trying to improve a particular body part and it's lagging, you may need to train that body part a little more frequently. So I'm going to break down to you the difference between someone who will go about it in a split style fashion and a total body fashion. And we'll see which person is going to get more volume because you know, at the end of the day, uh, the more reps that you get, uh, the better, the more, you know, the total volume is a cumulative thing. Reps throughout the week matter toward the end of the week. So let's go ahead and break this down. So the parameters are going to be, all right, chest, target area is chest. So um, the person who's training split body style is going to be doing five sets, or excuse me, five exercises uh, for 10 reps each. For three sets. All right, so five sets, five exercises for three sets for 10 reps. That's the total, or excuse me, the splits body person. Now, the total body person is going to be, I'm gonna even, and I'm gonna show you how dope total body is. The total body guy is gonna do less exercises. He's gonna do four. He's gonna do four exercises and to keep things uh, similar, he's gonna do 10 reps and three sets. So the reps and the sets are the same. The only difference is, is the split body person is going to do more exercises and more volume because they're doing a bro split, and that's typically what people do. So they have five movements, and the total body guy has four. So keep that in mind. Same uh, rep count and everything. All right, so let's go into the first week, all right? So we're going to a three-day week split of the total body training person first. Well, I asked, let's go to the split style person, uh, split style person first, okay? So they're doing five sets, or excuse me, five movements, three set, or excuse me, three sets, 10 reps. And typical bro split, you're gonna train chest uh, twice a week, all right? So one workout with those numbers is a total of 100, I'm writing this down too, is a total of 150 reps. So that's 150 reps for the total workout on, uh, say that bro style split is on a Monday. So the next time the workout will probably be what, Wednesday, Thursday, split, Thursday. So they'll do another 150 reps. So that would be 300 reps for the week. And that's if you train and trust twice a week. Or a split style, or excuse me, a split style training. So we got 300 reps. All right, let's go into the total body guy. Let's see what he's getting for the week. So total body, he's gonna go Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for his first week, uh, for his uh, for the first split for the for the first week. During that split, three days, they're gonna do. For one workout, they'll do 120 reps. All right, 120 reps, but check this out. 120 reps. I'll be writing this down, writing it down too. But check it. They're gonna go back to the gym on Thursday. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they're going to train chest again. That's another 120 reps. And that's not only going to be the only thing you're doing. That's Remember, this is for a chest deficient person. So you're going to do more volume. Same thing with a bro split. All right. So then now they're going to go back on Saturday. Friday, Friday, Saturday. So there's another 120 reps. So for the week, the total body guy has done 360 reps for chest. And the person who's doing split style training has done 300 reps. And that's for week one. Now this one stuff is about to get real crazy. Let's go to week two. Let's think about it. People think uh, total body training means you only train three days a week. No, that means you don't train two consecutive days. Now, also, let me know you didn't go to high school, or if you did, you didn't pay attention to math class. Because let me do the math for you. So that was there was a reason why I started the three day week or did three days started on Tuesday. So now let's look at this the total body guy. He his first week his he did three sixty. On Saturday, so we take Sunday off. So the week starts on the new, the, it starts over. So he's going to train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So now he's just trained four days in that week. So week one will be three days, and week four would be, excuse me, week two will be four days working out. So let's do the math on that. Let's add the extra day in. So add, just add extra 120 because it's extra day. So we'll keep everything the same. So on week two, he will get 480 reps total on a four-day week. On that four-day week, he's going to get... 480 total reps while the guy who's doing split style training is still going to be getting 300 now let's take that uh let's go let's break that down further all right for the month the person doing split style training that's 1200 reps for chest that you're doing do the math the person who's doing total body is doing 1680 reps for chest I'm not making these numbers up. And also, I even gave the person doing split more, more exercise. I gave him an extra exercise. So that's extra reps. I gave him extra reps in there. And it's still not getting more volume than the person who's doing total body training. Now, now, so we just did the math on that. Not only is the person training more frequently, because you need to train more frequently, but they're still they're not training on two consecutive days so they're still getting the rest and recovery they need because they're not training two consecutive days so not only are you getting more rest you get more volume too so you're going to get the muscle to grow especially on these lagging body parts now if your body parts aren't lagging you're not going to do as many sets or anything whether it's split or total body anyway. If the chest is you know good. You're gonna focus that energy uh, somewhere else. I just use chest because I was already talking about chest this week, so I figured I'd stay on chest week. So I figured I would do that. You know what I mean? So like I said, I'm uh, I'm not a real uh, nerdy type of person. I'm not really. I don't like to write all that stuff down. As you got, I'm not really that type of person. But I felt it was good to actually put some numbers and some facts and some data behind what I'm saying and show you guys that. Not only do you get more, you have more rest, you're gonna get more volume. You're doing more work than the person. And you can break that down any way you want it. If it's legs, or because the body part doesn't change the numbers, you can say, okay, well, we're doing biceps. You're doing legs, back, arms. It doesn't matter. The numbers are still gonna be the same. You're going to get more volume than a person doing split. So you're training that muscle more frequently and it's still getting the rest and recovery it needs. So, like I said, I mean, and, 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 you know, I'm just putting it out there. I'm showing you guys. Not only am I telling you, you know, show, telling you, showing you, I'm putting the work in myself. And thank you to everybody else who was, uh, 
catching on because this stuff's catching on really fast. A really a big and a little trip. update of the total body training. And ask yourself this question: What athlete period trains split style? Really, I mean, think about it. Uh, do freestyle wrestlers train like that? Basketball players, do boxers, uh, wrestlers, MMA, football players. Like nobody train, everybody trains real athletes, or I mean real athletes. They train in total body in some shape, form, or fashion. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so like I said, I mean, I really, I really can't think of any reason for you not to really uh, total body train. I know it's hard sometimes to switch over and try new things, but uh, you have to let go of old habits and things if you want to grow and progress. You think I train the same way uh, now that I did when I was 19? No, I was doing split and all that stuff. But back then, you could do whatever you, you, you could train when you're young. Really, you could train however you want to and get results as long as you're training hard. I mean, when you're young, you do anything, you know. But uh, as you get older and you progress in your training, you have to, you know, focus and fine tune things to keep progressing because the body adapts and changes, as you know. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, about the site, like I said, I was going to talk about it. Uh, for you people who went to purchase coaching, I didn't have any slots available at the time. So that's why the PayPal button, uh, you couldn't buy it like, because, buy I mean, I don't want to. The thing about me, like I said, these workouts and people I train, I'm not making, I, these aren't cookie cutters. I'm not just, oh, well, here's this. No, I talk to each person. Each person gets a different workout tailored to, you know, your lifestyle, how you live, uh, what your goals are, you know, it's custom, it's personal training, you know, via online means. So uh, keep that in mind. So like when I ask you for certain information, things like that is very important because uh, I need to get as much information as I can from you uh, without really being able to see you and interact with you. So keep that in mind as well. So like I said, I had some spots that are out open. Uh, so go to, I'll put the website, you see my link in the description, everything is www.jeronfit.com. And also for you people, for the pump, pump chaser people who follow me, pump chaser fam, don't forget, uh, you know, I got the pump chaser zone. Use my uh, discount code, Jeron10, so you can save yourself some money uh, on those pump chaser clothes to help support the grind and help the channel grow. Uh, like I said, the only way the channel grows is through you guys. You're the people, the audience, and you dictate. Who, who blows up. So, how about your boy? I'm out.